In this video, we're going to take a look at the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Now currently, I have opened the Lighthouse image, which is included with Windows 7 in its sample pictures folder, but you can really use any image that you have on hand. It should work just as well. Now what I'm going to do is go into my adjustments panel and just simply click on the brightness and contrast layer and that will add one to my layer stack. Alternatively, you can come down to your adjustments layer menu, which is at the very bottom center of your layer panel, and click on brightness contrast. Now the brightness contrast adjustment layer is fairly simple in that it just gives you two sliders to play with. You can boost the brightness, and you can boost the contrast, just as the name suggests. But there are a few things about this that you should know. First off, like many of the controls available inside of Photoshop, you don't have to put your mouse right here on this little slider if you don't want to. You can just mouse right over the word brightness, and you'll notice that your icon turns into a little finger with an arrow pointing off the index. And you can drag from there as well if you want to. Of course, you can also punch in a numeric value if you like. Same thing with contrast. I do want to point out, though, that as of more recent versions of Photoshop, I believe CS2 and later, though by all means, uh, feel free to correct me if you find out that it was an earlier version, the brightness and contrast uh, layer system was updated so that as you boost brightness, the overall luminosity of your image was respected. It was not a global brightness increase. If for some reason you do want to boost the brightness of your image kind of en masse without worrying about the luminosity of your image, then you can switch over to the legacy system. And now if you increase the brightness, you'll see that you're also kind of blowing out those blacks because everything is being pushed up and down equally. So just something to keep in mind. Most of the time, you probably won't need that because it does look a lot more pleasing to the eye not to use it. But I have run into situations where I did kind of want, want to make everything globally brighter without the uh, luminosity factoring in. So just in case you want to do that, of course, you have access to the legacy setting. So that's really all there is to it. Again, a very, very simple adjustment layer to work with, and that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.